Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 29th of October and today we are stealing three parts of the Canopus object as fast as possible. We are glitch sick, which makes this Sidewinder not as useful. X Foundry, which we'll try not to rely on, and Vindictive, which hopefully will not come up. Alright, we've got a long blade. Hopefully we'll get another melee weapon or slow stream or something alike. We've got a proximity grenade launcher. Don't get proximity things very often. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, emergency shield. Well, luckily we do get more melee weapons. Light reinforcements. Many sentry guns. Alright. Do you need to enable bash dash? Alright. Ooh, docking right at the end. That might make it a little bit difficult to hit it just right. Because it normally do a bonk. Although we're auto zooming, so it might be fine. Eh. Oh shoot, I just realized I have a brick. That's very relevant. That's incredibly relevant. But not relevant enough. Maybe. But if we leave here, it'll be at least seven seconds. And... It'll be seven seconds to leave, and then three or four seconds at least to get back. Whereas at this point, dashing through once we've got a couple of uh, melee weapons, uh, I imagine this will be like 13, 14 seconds at the most. So at this point it's too late, but we will use it next time. You are in a very poor space. Yeah, that was, that was especially relevant as it is a timed one. Okay. I'm gonna... No, I can dodge this, at least. We'll get you to teleport. Uh, okay, I wasn't expecting you to be able to hit me from there. Throw this at you. We can't have you doing any shooting. And then... Alright, we'll pick you back up. Get ready to stab you. But also get out of range of this. We're definitely still in range. Now we are not in range, I think. We're probably fine here. Okay, you're starting to spot me. So it's time to do a shoot. And I'll go ahead and stab you. Start walking this way. And pick up your wrench. That is useful right now. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll get this key. I'll have to walk a little bit here as we wait for things to recharge. Okay, so the trouble here is... I don't know if it's possible for me to get all of you. You're gonna see me. Well, you're gonna notice me and put up your shields. You are Probably as well. And I've only got one gun. No, I've got two guns because of you. Still doesn't take care of you after I shoot, but... So. 
This should take out the most people. Take this, take this, take this. Beautiful. Um, can we get you? You're the one that I want the most. I do need to remember that I've got the grenade launcher. Okay, so I would like to shoot you, but it's unclear if that's going to get you. Because I really want your item. Hmm, you know what I can try to do? Might make use of this. Okay, so we're going to zoom all the way out, zoom back in, so we have... So we have it aligned with a lot. Okay, apparently being in throw mode, auto brings it back. So cancel aim, zoom out, come back in. Okay, so we're gonna try and use this uh, proximity grenade to blow them up. So let's aim it. And then zoom out so that it just goes incredibly fast. And hopefully that'll take care of all of them. Yeah, that's... Oh, can we compare that to how fast the bolt's going? That's going at least as fast as the bullet. I think it's going a bit faster. <laughs> Ooh, and that started turning. Perfect, perfect. All right. Thank you, grenade launchers. I really like you with this new-ish development. All right. What do we got here? Crash trap. That's relevant. Now that we've got three melee weapons, we can do a lot of dashing. I'm surprised I hit that corner. I'll try and get through here before you get set up. Deactivate. Okay, I need to shoot you. Hi. Last stab. Um, okay, still waiting for that item, so we'll do a dash. Visitor. Not exactly what I want. Okay, dash. Do a couple of quick dashes here. And then we really need this brick moving. Don't care about the alarm. Dash over here. Blam. 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 Pick up everything. Who knows what we'll need. And... Dash down here. Maybe this will be something good. Uh, looks like it's a gun of some sort. It's not exactly what we want. Dash up here. Get this moving up. Okay. Hopefully this will be lined up just right. This looks good. This looks good. Yeah. 
Alright, so yeah, 13, 14 seconds. 14 seconds. So if I'd done the initial ramming against it, could have had a dock in like four ish seconds. Take a second to go through it. Or two. And go back. I would have saved a little bit of time, most likely. But I don't know if I'd. Mm, might have been able to get under 10. There's some factors involved. But. Okay, let's take this. Let's look at what we've got. Heat sensors, shotguns, no alarm response. Even better. And we got two guns, three melee weapons. It's key. Okay, I need to take the visitor just in case I space the guards that have the key. I can get more guns. Um, I don't know if I want the Sidewinder at all. I think I'd rather take the Key Cloner. Will I need the Grenade Launcher? I don't think I will. There's no one that needs to be killed off in a certain amount of time. Alright, so I'll stack what I don't need later. Okay. So, pop on out, and then pop ourselves back in, because we're going remoting. Uh, not return to pod. Okay. So, this will be our second attempt at using the zooming out method. Uh, where is the crate? So, rather than doing the traditional thing of like lining it up just right and going for it. We'll be going to about double this radius is what I was doing. And then line up where we want to be, zoom out, and then accelerate super fast into it. Uh, that does require knowing where the target is though. Which I think means I need to not be remote controlling. Okay, target is right here in the middle. So, hitting from one of these sides should be perfectly safe. All right. It's gonna be trying to hit there. Okay, let's... This is about double. Okay. Let's go with this. See if it works out. Okay, not far enough. is killing me. I think I missed. Yep. Alright, this one is a... Oh, do not blow myself up. Though it doesn't matter quite as much. And this is more of an annoyance, I suppose. Alright, I'll go a little bit higher. Yeah! And we broke. Yeah, that was... I was hoping for this one, but that works just fine. 
Uh, we did lose <laughs> the level three key card. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, you people. Uh, but yeah, that's why we've got the visitor. So, mm, I might try breaking this one as well, or I might try going for this one. See if it can open directly into the room that it's in. Though there's a chance that it's not even locked inside a room. W. So I think we'll give it one more hit from the other side because that one on the edge will be difficult to hit due to the room next to it being a docking point now. Gonna go for a little bit back. Okay. And we got right where I wanted. Ooh, and that leads directly into the room. Perfect. Perfect. Alright. So we don't need to worry about keys. Just need to worry about not blowing up my pod. On a related note, I really wish there was a way to leave the station without the pod. So even if your pod gets destroyed, you can still, like, shotgun yourself to a ship. Okay, anything in here that I need to take? Don't need this. Uh, I don't think I'll need the gun. So I'm going to take this and have it available to stash on the pod. Okay, target is like that, and we're going to be docking in the front of the ship. Quite the rarity. And I guess it's similar to swapping in. Okay, so I would have been fine with this one as long as I docked on the correct spot. It looks like this one just wasn't in a locked room at all. Unless one of these was a locked room. Um, I might take the time to shoot the pilot. They've got an item. What are we at? We're at three seconds. So I think we can do that. First, we'll dash in. Open the crate, take whatever it is. I guess we'll stash it. Dash up here. Then we'll drop this, drop this, drop this. I guess the sidewinder doesn't need to be used. Um, da, 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 da. Yeah. Oh, and of course I left the gun behind. <laughs> Whoopsie. Okay, we can still get under 10 seconds though, right? It'll be less than two seconds to get to you and get back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're fine, we're fine. We'll pick this up. Turn to pod. Dock here. Do a dash. I think I'll do a throw. And then do a dash. Yeah. Swapper. Not exactly what I want, but whatever. I'll pick up the shotgun. Drop it down. Sure, let's drop a wrench. Make sure it's not banging against the wall and knocking me out this time. And, wow, we've got a lot of <laughs> things in our pod. Okay. Return to pod, and we can leave. So yeah, that took uh, some time to actually do. But it got us under 10 seconds.
Okay. We're gonna just load up on guns and wrenches. I don't want more than three melee weapons, I don't think. Okay. So now, oh, we should probably take the next mission. Armored guards. We have a way around that. Kits. It is glitch proof, but not uh, armored. But it is 56 seconds alarm response. Hmm. I think that is doable. Do I take the risk? I think I do. Let's look at this thing first. There's always a chance that the target's really close to the entryway, which it is not. It is right here. Okay, so the downside, so the big, two big downsides to bashing it is it's got the alarm response time. There's a chance I don't get there in time, but 50 second, 56 seconds should be more than enough, especially if I leave my pilot hanging around in the air so that the pod blows up, gets launched back to my pilot, and then I can get picked up easy enough. The slightly hard part is I then need to dock, and I don't have time to prepare the dock, which means it'll most likely be a fair amount longer than a normal one. And I also can't have the pilot close enough that it starts the time. Hmm, this is going to be a bit of a challenge. Alright, so you're orbiting around this one, it looks like. So I'm fine. Probably... Alright, this is beginning to border on the edge of it. Get this hovering alongside, and let's give this crazy plan a shot. I am not entirely confident that this will work, but I really want to try this out. Oh, that's that's an issue right there. Can't gauge the distance as well. I'm not aiming for a super specific target right here. Okay, how big is... Yeah, that's not going to give me a good reference point. So let's just go like... This... Uh, I think this will be just fine. Okay. Okay, I like that. I like that. Zoom all the way out. Kerblam. Kerblam. Okay, so it's going to start heading down here. I really wish that I had brought the shotgun back with me now at this point. But... I'll start using what I have. To get myself moving. And then while this is going... Yeah, I guess I can shoot again. Don't press W. 
Apparently I can shoot again. It's hard to gauge how much time this actually takes. It's on like a completely different pausing and slow motion. And... Oh, oh, oh. Different time scale than uh, anything that you do on the ship or approaching the ship normally. Okay, so we still got 50 seconds left. This should be perfectly fine. Still gonna go a bit slow here. Just take it nice and easy and remember that piloting at high speeds in slow motion is a bit awkward. Okay. So, we got 42 seconds left. Hmm, should have aimed a bit lower. I'd forgotten just how far away it was. It's not going to be as much as an advantage as I wanted. Alright. So, this is being real risky. Ooh boy. <laughs> okay. Alright. Five second dock. It's entirely possible that getting a three second dock here would have been faster. Although that's that's uh, not guaranteed to happen. So yeah, hitting on this section would have been much more ideal. Okay. So we can steal a key. Dash dash our way through. I think I want to re-change which one I'm docked with. Anything on here that I want to pick up now. Not really. Mmm, Sidewinder's good for getting out. Alright. Visitor... Uh... One second of... The visitor is gonna be too much. With the glitch stick. Okay. Oh, and I actually do want this. Just get that, and then we have no more use for it. Um, I do not like you. But we'll probably be fine. Okay, open the crate. What have we got? I don't think I care about the crash trap. Uh, we've got... A trap of some sort. Which is not super relevant. Though it is a little bit relevant. Okay, I think I'll be safe doing right here. Actually, while I'm walking down here, I'm gonna get this moving. Because I want it to be right in front. Oh boy, that's a scary, scary red line. Okay, okay. So, Sidewinder reaches into this area. So we will shoot our gun. Make sure the pod is right in front of the window. And then glitch stick our way out of here. 
And of course it uh, <laughs> throws me off a little bit and I don't have my shotgun. Oh well, we weren't getting 10 seconds anyways. So yeah, with a better dock, with a better dock and getting along one of these lines, either the window directly or one of these two, I think that would have saved me, it potentially would have saved me enough time to get under 10. Still probably a bit faster than going through it a regular way. Did I steal it? I did steal it. So yeah, minus five penalty. And oh, I clicked out of it. Also, happy space Halloween. Hope the skeletons are kind to you. All right, so yeah, first place so far, and we're we've got five minutes left in the day, so this is likely the end of it. So me with first place with 33 seconds, and a 490. We get JPEG Jog second, Zazaza third. Harif Green and Kali taking up the top five. Yesterday. Today was the 29th. Yesterday, I do believe, was in the other galaxy. The galaxy that crashes when I change to it, and a large reason why I want to <laughs> start a new galaxy that's mostly filled out but not having removed one of the factions completely it is a bit annoying when it crashes when you change i have a suspicion that it's the crash is due to something about trying to load the daily challenge number or character but it's not in this galaxy or something that's just a hunch because it only the only time I see it crashes right after doing a daily challenge. Uh, yesterday I kept first with 47 seconds. Now uh, this is the day that I knocked myself out with a hammer because it had momentum after I dropped it. But I took first, second Zazaza, third Lasar. Then just us, GS and Det Mag Magner Magner. Don't know how to pronounce that. Taking the top five. All right. So yeah, that was some more fun with the brick. I'm super glad that the new method works pretty reliably. Yeah, I stand like almost no chance at doing anything precision otherwise and it takes forever this one only takes half of forever but yes that is all for today thank you for watching and i hope to see you tomorrow